All right, let's see how we can use the Facebook Ads Library with Sell the Trend. There's two ways that you can use uh, the Ads Library, uh, and I'm gonna sh go through uh, both the methods on how to best utilize this page. Okay, let's go to our Nexus trending products. You can use this for any uh, of uh, the explorers, uh, as long as uh, it has the Facebook uh, the Facebook link here. So basically, any of the Nexus uh, any of the Nexus explorers here, uh, the hot products trending on the rise all this stuff. And we're also going to discuss how to use the Facebook ads library with our Nexus trending stores, hot stores, and our Shopify store explorer. So uh, let us pick um, something here um, that, that we can uh, investigate here a little bit and look at the ads uh, that, that they're running on, on some of these products. So let's look at this uh, round dog bed here. Let's click on the Facebook button right here. So what that's going to do, that's going to open up Facebook to uh, that to basically ads that are running uh, on this um, on this uh, product. So the first thing that we can do is, um, you know, these are ads that are running on this exact product here that uh, that we saw on the Nexus. So let's take the first uh, video here, the first um, ad right here. So it is basically being uh, run uh, by uh, this page right here, this anti-anxiety dog bed. Let's go back to the ads library here. The first thing that you need to do is you got to make sure that you have all selected up here in this little drop down here. This is going to show you ads from all over the world and not just from whatever country you have selected. So let's put anti anxiety dog bed. And you click on that first one here. And right there, you can see uh, this ad that they're running for this particular thing. But not only can you see this one ad that they're running for this particular dog bed here, you can see all the other ads that they are running. So all the different variation of ads that they are running uh, for this particular product that we have in the Nexus. So this is really good because not only can you see uh, you know the the video uh, for this particular uh, uh, product, as well as all the details. You can also see when they started running this ad. So this particular ad started running on June the tenth, but you can see previous ads will have been running for a lot longer, May 9th, May twenty first. So you can tell that not only are they running ads for you know over a month now, uh, but they have multiple variations of these ads. So what are why is, why is this page so good, and why why are looking at these ads so valuable? Is because you, not only can you see when they've been running the ad, so the longer uh, an ad has been running, uh, obviously the more successful the ad is. So you know you're not going to keep an ad running for months on end uh, if uh, if it's not it's, if it's not making you money. So that's one good thing to, to note is how long have they been running the ad, as well as you can see. You know, the longer ads, you can see the copy. So you can see exactly uh, what uh, the ad consists of, as well as the video here. I don't know if I play this video, it's going to make noise. So you can actually also see the video here uh, for this particular ad. Um, that way you can kind of see exactly how they're running this ad and, and all the details here. And if you click on uh, this, see ad details, uh, you can see the full ad here. And of course, you can then, you know, click on the actual ad right here. And it will take you straight to uh, the product page um, uh, for, for, the, for, this, uh, for this product. So this is a really good way to kind of you know, find a products in the Nexus uh, and then grab their ad information from Facebook and put them in the Facebook ads library here and be able to see you know, detail, uh, detail information about the page that is running these ads, the, the advertiser basically that is running these ads. So let's, let's, uh, let's give another, uh, let's try another one here. Let's go find another. Uh, here's another uh, for this uh, magic dog crate here. So let's click on Facebook here and let us look at some of these ads here. So let's grab uh, this Pet Supply Plus. Let's go back to our Facebook ads library here. Let's put Pet Supply Plus. So let's click on that one. And you can see here, the, again, the ad that they are running for this. And you can say, kind of find the same details about, the, about this ad as well. Uh, and um, kind of like what we saw with the previous, previous product. So that's one way of finding um, products in the Nexus and then going and finding uh, the, the ad details about the, the, the person or the, the page or the advertisers that is running these, these ads about these products and get not only 
the one product that they're that they're running, as well as different variations of the ads. And you can technically also see other ads that they are running for other products as well that they are promoting. So that is one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is by using our Shopify Store Explorer and zeroing in and finding ads that are being run uh, by different uh, dropshipping stores. So here we are in the Shopify Store Explorer. This is my list of favorite stores that I wanted to keep track of. So if we go back to Shopify stores here, so we can get the entire list. And you can do this with either the Shopify uh, Store Explorer or you can do it here with any of these hot stores or trending stores here uh, in the Nexus. Uh, but basically, it's once you decide that you like a particular store, what you can do is you can click on this heart here and it will save the store in your list of favorite stores. And what's so cool about this page is, as you know, if you have stores that are saved in your favorite stores, every time, every day that they add new products, you will get an email notification uh, that they added a new product and you'll get the name of the store in the email and tells you that this particular store just added a new product, which is a great way to keep tabs on your favorite dropshipping stores. As you can see, this, this particular dropshipping store does you know, a lot of traffic, a lot of orders a day. So let us grab, for example, uh, one of these stores here and let's see you know, if they are running ads or what kind of ads are running. So let's, let's, let's grab this one, for example, the project yourself. Let's go back to the Facebook ads library here. And instead of putting a uh, thing, now we can put the name of the, the uh, dropshipping store. So project yourself. Let's click on that one. And right away here, you can see all the different ads that they are running uh, for their store. So you can see that this particular uh, dropshipping store is all about these crystals and this little jewelry here and these these uh, bracelets. These are super popular. And uh, like we saw with the other product here, you can see all the different ads that they are running. You can see how long they've been running these ads uh, and be able to get some, some information about what kind of ads are successful for them and uh, what kind of ads, uh, you know, they keep uh, removing. Now, you know, this is a very, very good tool but I will make sure that you do not abuse this tool. What I mean by that is don't go in here and see ads and just grab you know, the picture, grab the content exactly. So make sure that you're using this really as inspiration and to kind of learn of what successful ads uh, look like uh, and be able to then implement the same kind of strategies when you are creating your own Facebook ads. So that is a quick rundown of how to use the Facebook ads library, either by finding uh, uh, winning products in our Nexus Explorer, clicking on the Facebook button and then grabbing the name of the, the, the store that is running it and putting it in this tool right here, or by going straight to our Shopify Store Explorer, grabbing the name of the store, putting it in this tool over here and finding all the ads uh, that they are running.